A Youngsville man is home tonight one day after a police chase suspect smashed into his car. The suspect in that chase, Marcus Richardson, died on impact. CBS 17's Robert Richardson is live at the crash site in Franklin County with new details about how the chase started. Robert. Yeah, Angela, I'm on South Cross Street, which, as you can see behind me, has a very sharp curve. The driver went off the road, then back across. You can see the speed limit sign over there is 45 miles per hour. Now, police stopped 34-year-old Marcus D'Angelo Richardson across the county line in Wake County after running the plate numbers and learning the license was expired. Investigators say Richardson sped off while officers checked his ID and discovered he had outstanding warrants for fleeing from Raleigh police last year. Three cars chased after him. That's allowed by departmental policy and estimate he reached speeds of 90 miles per hour. As the Chevy Impala rounded a curve, he collided with a van driven by Alex Castellan. Castellan told me he was on his way to pick up his brother from work. He says he saw the car but couldn't get out of the way. I thought I could, but the car came so fast. Everything happened so fast that. By the time it was over, that's when all the sharp pain started to come in. Really hurts just He's surprised that he survived. He says that in a lot of accidents like this, it's the person who gets hit who doesn't make it. His mother told me that he was having trouble walking into the house. She says that her sympathies are with the family of the other driver who they crashed right over here. Now I reached out to Richardson's mother, but haven't heard back from her. Reporting live in Youngsville, Robert Richardson, CBS 17 News. Right.